Okay, so here we are. Uh, never thought I'd made it this far, but today is the start of my IB exams. This video is gonna be part of a three part series of my um, IB exams. I'm gonna do uh, week one, week two, week three, cause I have about like three weeks. So first week I've got, <sighs> I've got a lot. Physics paper one and physics paper two today. The next day I have physics paper three, which is our option, which is astrophysics. Paper one and two are like multiple choice and then paper two is like short answer. And then when I have paper three, I have that in the morning and then in the afternoon I have English paper one, which is a uh, analysis of an uh, unseen text. And then the next day I have English paper two, which is an essay based on works that you studied. So I'm gonna do poetry. And then in week two, we've got, week two is hectic. I've got like Indo paper one, paper two. Uh, and then I've got like chemistry paper one, paper two, and paper three. And history paper one, paper two, paper three. So in week one, I have five exams. Week two, I have eight exams. And then in week three, I have two exams. This is actually insane. I can't believe how many exams I have, but we're gonna push through it and it's gonna be fine because in the end, just three weeks. 20 days, not even, and then it's done. So right now I'm going to do my morning routine, like exercise to get me in the mood. I'm probably gonna go for a run, come back, do some yoga, and then have a nice shower. I'm going for a run, just a short one, just to wake me up because I'm like so tired right now. Uh, okay, so I am back from my run and that was just really nice, honestly. I'm um, going for a run in the morning for me, just like really puts, and then having a nice cold shower afterwards, just really puts me in the headspace to do like some actual work. So I'm gonna finish up the paper two I was doing last night. Right, I'm done. Now it's time to mark this baby. Uh, I think it went well, but then I think it went a bit downhill. Like I love this question with the tennis racket, easy peasy, but then there was some stuff on the photoelectric effect. Okay, I completed my goal of finishing this book of three past papers in two days. I'm actually so proud of myself. For Those are all the past papers for November for the past three years. And honestly, these are so much harder than May. So Americans, I'd be probably thinks you're dumb or something because your papers are like so much easier. But it's kind of annoying as well. So I think I'm gonna do some yoga because I'm tired and I want to break and I want to like clear my head. Close to the floor if you can to push the right leg back as far as you can. Okay, so I just finished yoga, so now I'm going to take a shower again, and then I'm hopefully gonna go ahead into school. Okay, so I got 15 minutes before my exam. I haven't done any past papers, I just don't think I want to. I talked to Dean about stuff, so I think that's enough to prepare me. I'm just gonna go in and see what happens. Honestly, by this point, I don't think like a few minutes, extra minutes of revision is gonna help me, but I'm gonna see how this goes. Paper one, here we go. Okay, so I just finished my exam, my physics, my physics! Oh my god, my physics, my physics paper one, and physics paper two exam, and honestly, I th I am actually really happy with how they went. Paper one though, paper one was a nightmare. Paper one sucked, paper one was so bad. Like, first of all, like, I didn't know you had to use a pencil, so I ran and got a pencil, and then I forgot an eraser, so like, everything that I, like, all the boxes that I clicked, like, I just couldn't erase them, so it was a bit hectic like that. It was like my part. Like, I was just stupid about it. And, 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 I didn't, and I didn't have any chance to like review my answers. I just did them. After like one minute to go, I had like fucking like six or seven, eight that I just hadn't done yet. So I just like randomly ticked them all. And, but since the grade boundaries are low, I'm hoping I'm okay because there were like six that I just randomly guessed. But I'm pretty sure for the rest of them, like for a lot of them, I like, I kind of prioritize like trying to get them right rather than trying to get them. So I left a lot blank, yeah, but like I'm pretty sure the ones that I like thought about were actually good answers. And then for paper two, paper two was amazing. I thought they were gonna give us some weird mechanics problem at the start, but they didn't. The mechanics problem was so easy. Not to be arrogant, but like, yeah. But then there were some stuff that I didn't know, like, oh my God. I was like, I had this weird feeling that thin film interference is gonna come up. So I studied it, but not well, cause I didn't think it, I really, I didn't think it was gonna come up cause I hadn't come up in three years. So I was like, and I really don't understand it. So I was like, so I researched it cause I felt like it was gonna come up cause I hadn't come up in three years. And I, but I was still hoping that it wouldn't come up. And then it did. And I was like, wow. Okay, so, and then I used the formulas that I learned 
but I have no idea if I did it right. Like, I'm so glad I like had that feeling that thin film interference was gonna come up. What was this one about the refrigerator? Is there any if anyone's doing these things, that is me. There, what, there was something about the refrigerator, like the force and like, oh, what is like the about a refrigerator? That question was so weird. Like about what what is the maximum force to pull like. What is the minimum force needed to pull a refrigerator 4,000? If anyone knows how they got that, tell me. And also, what was the other weird one? Oh yeah, what was that one with the turbines? Like, the power stuff? Like, did anyone else do like, the maximum power was like, the, the before versus the after? I don't know. Or like, oh that photoelectric effect one was nice because I literally, just before the exam, I was discussing it with Dr. Dean. So it was like clear, flesh, understood it in the head. Liked it, very nice, I love photoelectric effect. And oh yeah, the nice, the one about the proton spinning in the magnetic, okay this cat's in the roof. The proton spinning in the magnetic field, I love that one. Okay, so quick update, I've just been spent the last few hours at home just trying to chill my mind out, calm myself down, so I've just been like showering, um, stretching, eating food, just chilling out because tomorrow's paper three and paper three is the easy paper, maybe. Um, so paper three is the paper, is astrophysics paper. Just doing some, re uh, just doing some recall. This is my diagram of what a parallax angle. All right, so I just went through some questions, wrote down some stuff about cosmic background radiation, the HR diagram, all fun stuff, stellar evolution, um, cephide variable cells, it's all pretty interesting stuff. Um, ast astrophysics is the best, honestly, it's probably the most interesting thing I've learned in IB. Also kind of the scary one, because you learn about how everything is going to die in the end, but that's okay. Okay. Okie dokie, so I've just been doing this, checking um, my paper through that I did a while ago. I did alright, I can remember most of it. I feel like I learned it pretty well to start, because I like found it really interesting, so I'm not finding it that hard to recall, like cephide variable cells, hello, I know what you are, you are a freaking star that expands and spits out and explodes and then you fall back into yourself collapsing into tears and then you do it again and again and again and then you act as a standard candle which means that we can see you and know who you are we see you and the we know who you are cause, oh my god i swear to god if they ask us to calculate the age of the freaking universe in the exam like they did a couple times i'm gonna have a mental breakdown like what does that even mean like what the, like some of the questions on this paper comes up as literally like calculate from this graph the age of the universe. Can we not like awkward for some people? I mean not for me, I'm fine with it. Like I'm just wondering what like the Christians are thinking. Astrophysics is a weird one to do. November 2017. Here we go. What are you? A graph? Oh my god, trying to cram and understand what the fuck this critical density shit means. I'm just so confused. Um, it's interesting, but it's like really weird. Uh, okay, so it's the next day. Like, I don't know, I got a really bad headache from yesterday because I just get like really bad headaches after my exams because I think they stress me out a lot. I'm ready for paper three. I think I did a paper last night and I think this is gonna go well because I really like paper three because I find the content really easy to recall because it's just so interesting. Like paper, like astrophysics is so cool. The one thing I was having trouble with last night, <laughs> yeah, critical density, whatever the fuck that means. I don't go. I can do the derivation. I don't know what it means. I don't get it, but that's okay. I got the exam technique. Now I'm gonna have some breakfast whilst doing a paper three. Just take it easy, calm the fuck down. Go to my exam. Sit my exam. And then I'm just going to be done with physics. And it's going to be so sad, but so awesome. That's my hardest subject down. The last paper I have to do, November, for physics, November 2016, paper 3. I might skip the section A because, ooh, that looks boring. I don't know. How do you even study for section A? Because I feel like all the questions are always different. Like, I feel like you study that just by, like, doing a bunch of labs, so... <laughs> Done. This 
paper is so easy. It's actually a joke. I really, but like compared to the last papers, it, why I mean you make it harder and harder every year. Goodness. I mean, I mean to be fair, the paper two was easier than the last year's paper two because that was a death ball. But this paper three is so much. Oh my god! Like it's all like really obvious, straightforward questions. Except for this one. Calculate the rotational velocity of. I don't know how to do. There's one that I don't know how to do, but that, that's fine. I'm gonna check this now. See what I. See what I know. I don't know. You know the business. Same stuff. Yeah. All right, y'all. Got Gujiks here. Time to go. Oh no, I forgot socks. I'm feeling pretty good about paper three because honestly, every time they're basically the same. I mean, there are like variations. Like usually, like sometimes they'll ask you, "Oh, what's a nooch?" What's a, what's a nebula? Oh, sometimes it's what's a, what's a planet versus this or whatever. But basically, they're so repetitive. If like the first time I did the paper three, it was so hard. I was so confused. I was like, how am I ever gonna do this? Because this is like actually a hard calculation. But paper three, you realize for astrophysics, it's actually all just like all of the calculations are basically the same. You just really know, need to know how to ratio between like masses and the sun and it's not that hard like the first time it's really hard but then after a while you're like okay well i just have to divide yeah. this equation by this yeah and then you get the answer there's lots of explaining stuff with words that you have to do cosmic background micro radiation dark energy and dark matter and shit like that but that's like okay i don't understand cosmic background radiation at all like i'm just so confused but i just know it's isotropic it's a black body radiation and it's permeating everywhere and everywhere that's all that that's all the mark seems guys, so that's all I'm gonna know. So yeah. Okay, so I just finished paper three for physics and oh my god, I'm so happy with how that went. That paper went so good, like honestly I found it quite easy. Honestly, because it was literally the same, like it was literally the same as like the past paper questions, and there was nothing nothing on cosmic background radiation and all that crap that i don't understand and there was only one question yeah so one of the questions was um outline the difference between uh constellations and star clusters and literally did that question literally did it last night like last night i did it and like so i already memorized the mark scheme answer for it so like i could just shit shit that in and then like for um the ratios questions the ratios questions were easy like they were like really sh and i had done one like it literally the night before fan what is this <laughs> right so right now we are because we have paper english paper one tomorrow i'm gonna do a practice paper one just to get my mind in the swing of things because i haven't done one in a while but i feel like like they're not that hard to get back into you just need to like like get on to it. Just finished up an English paper one practice. So we did this poem called The Man Who Hated Trees. It's really interesting and we just had and it's an unseen so I haven't seen this before so we just had to read this and then do a paper about it. So Gotta, gotta label this. This is number one. Took me about an hour and a half, which is a good timing because that's how long we get in the exam. And this is what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. So God bless. Hopefully, I get a good poem. So yeah. Hello. No, Fel just came. Fel that hasn't had any exams yet. I've already done four. I'm done with physics. One subject down. Five more to go. I have 16. I've done four, so I have only have 12 more. And then Fel's. How many do you? Have? Sixteen. Oh, you're fifteen. Yeah. When you finish writing the analysis, then you get the poem. Then you have to go back and you're like, oh wait. And then like I like figured out a team in like the second stanza, and I was like, shit. And I went back like intro, the loss of life, the loss of nature, dude. What I hate the most is like it, it takes you on this like really long journey, and you like two marks, and you're like. Oh. <laughs> What do you mean? Okay, right now we're in Burgreens uh, with Duffy, except he's not here. I'm with Felicia. We're gonna do some work. What are you doing, Feli? Cam. Cam, why? What about English? English, give me English. <laughs> my goal is to do one, two. My goal is to do all of my history, my mat worksheets. <laughs> and if I can do that, 
I'm gonna be really happy. And then if I can, yeah, I'm just gonna be really happy if I can do all that. I probably won't, but that's the aim because I feel like I'm gonna fail history. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> she booped me, I'll kill her. I'm and Phil studying in Max. Still working on my history things. And Phil has terrible socks. He's so cute. Yeah. Okay, I can't do this anymore. My brain has had enough. I literally have a throbbing headache right now. So I'm just gonna chill and watch some YouTube and just take a break. I don't want to think anymore. I'm done thinking because this is not. This is not even fun thinking. This is like hafal. It's memorizing. It's boring. Here comes Val. Felicia! Uh, okay, I just got home and I've just been taking a few moments of rest, relaxation, and trying to calm myself down. Good. All right, everyone, dinner time. So I just did some yoga. It was really nice. And right now I'm eating dinner. Okay, okay. So I've been doing a bunch of history revision. But at this point, I feel like it's becoming really ineffective and I really want to just go to sleep. Okay, morning, people. So today is the day of my English paper one exam. This is a first out of business. Yeah, you know, this stuff, this stuff that I did yesterday, I did it twice. I'm going to do it again. I'm gonna recall that stuff again. Active recall, memory, get that into my brain, spaced repetition, am I right? Okie dokie, we did okay. I think I'm I think I'm gonna be alright if populism comes up. So that's good. Um still got some things to memorize. Uh, but so far so good. Okay. Okay, hey everyone, so right now my plan is to turn, is that I really, really need to work on my consolidation of power for Mal and Hitler, so here are my sheets, and what I really need to do is, and like, make some sort of, like, worksheet that I can do to, like, memorize this, so I'll, like, okay, I've done my mind map, so here I've got evaluation of Castro's Cuba, Hitler and Mal, um, persecuting minority, compare and contrast women in their state, um, Castro and Mao, compare and contrast, oh yeah, rise to power, use of environment and rise to power, compare and contrast to Castro and Stalin, it's time to prepare mentally for exams because I'm a bit stressed out based off how much history I still have to memorize, but that's okay because I'm just gonna go for a run, run it out, chill it out, get it all out. <laughs> So I'm done my run. That was so nice. Now I'm just eating a melon. So yeah, I'm gonna go to school, do some more history, do some English, maybe look at a few poems. I don't know. I'm not going to study at all for English. Like I'm not going to study or prepare at all. There's nothing to prepare. Like how do you prepare for a poem that you've never seen before? Like I know how to speak English. I know how to write formal analysis. I know how to identify literary devices so there's not much I can do everyone's, everyone's picking up a test so we just finished our English literature exam and we and <laughs> this is so interesting we both so what we have to do is we have to get an extract or a poem and then we have to pick one and write a literary analysis of it in an hour and a half <laughs> yeah what do you think about the time i literally just finished dude yeah right, when right on time yeah well, and i was reading while Inga was talking yeah yeah <laughs> dude <laughs> we both had completely different interpretations of the poem which i think is funny like she i heard her talking to claire about hers and i was like i literally said none of that so this is really this is really interesting. As soon as I read it twice, 
the there's like two lines that really stood out. Like the first line was like the return of the gold ring, um, and then the first one was like the broken vows, and then the last and then the question about relationships, and the last line where like um, it was something doorway, and then like where but then we stopped growing. So I was like, shit, this is about a relationship that's fucking broken as fuck. And so like that's when the question was talking about like no <laughs> when the question was like oh like something about relationship. I was like right. So this relationship is clearly not necess not in the good like they're not doing well and I just like perhaps they would be encountering a divorce since like they were talking about kids and a ring <laughs> so that's literally how and then no. like <laughs> How did you no, interpret it? No, I'm just like, no, that, I think like that's spot on. Like, because no, I read the poem, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you can think about it like that. But I, just, <laughs> I thought it was about a fire. <laughs> I thought it was about. I talked so much about the fire yeah. and how like it shows like how it's how everything dies in the end, mm. and how like you know you can have this really nice relationship, but then like s there's always some event that's coming that's gonna destroy something. Mm. So I talked about how like like bits like. Like they were foreshadowing of the fire to come in the poem. So like you know the broken goldfish one. I was like yeah because of the fire and like you know how they everything fire. Ash? Yeah, like they talked mm. about the ash and the dust. Mm. They left behind, I said that they left behind ash. I literally said that because was the burbling. house was burned. I said that was and there was fucking ash because in the house. I said it was like it was, it was like a lot of hyperboles because like obviously they can't really like like the ash and shit like that I just because there was a fire I said that just symbolized the past and like them leaving like it's old and dusty the whole house they don't care about the house anymore but the, the dust the <laughs> that dust is the fire it's because when the fire there was a light that was like and I smoked it until I was like something stars and I was like this guy like shows like he's sad <laughs> this is interesting okay he's tell me what you think <laughs> like he's like smoking after cleaning the house or whatever like he's like at the end now like you know how people usually smoke after like a long day or whatever and they're just like you know, they just waited, and then like the mention of a doorway is when them like about to literally no, 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 no. leave the house. He's talking about the smoke. Like, yeah, me. It's like cigarettes, smoke cigarettes. cigarettes. But hit the sand is right. Yeah, I thought that was so clever. Yeah, I know right? it was really uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. No, but I said no. that was because <laughs> that like them hitting the sadness and her oh sucking God. in the smoke hmm? was her, <laughs> was her <laughs> sucking in the fire. <laughs> the They're ash. Like, they're like in the front door. Said, but like, it's like as if like, yeah, like them, her trying to hold on the last bit of her house. And the last bit of her house is the ash yeah. from the fire. It all just correlates back to the fire. <laughs> okay, what did you say about the ring? So there was this line that said, um, what was the line? It was like, like something, it was like, uh, it was like commas, commas, like commas. Like gold ring return. That yeah. was a line. Mm -hmm. And nest the... Completely different. Uh, yeah, I saw it as in like you know like when you get divorced, what are you gonna do with the ring? Either you're gonna keep it as like a monumental like object, or you're gonna return it. Obviously. Oh, like return. Oh, like like return. Like you're gonna return. The yeah. Ring to, the to the gold, because that's what they mentioned. The gold ring. Did you say ring? Gold ring. Gold, gold ring is ring. typically for marriage. Gold ring return. Yeah. I said <laughs> gold ring return because. Metal is it Thank metal you. is one is something in the house one of the only things in the house that the is that is not flammable it's inflammable so the gold was the only thing that they got returned <laughs> from the fire so I'm back and um, basically I'm just emotionally and physically exhausted from that paper English paper one exam it went terribly in my opinion like i thought it was going good no like it didn't went terribly it could have gone much worse but honestly i think i'm so like looking back i think i'm an idiot because i think i just got it wrong just based off what ignatia was talking about now i'm pretty sure that i just completely misinterpreted the poem so i didn't not do a good literary analysis because i think like in depth my paragraphs were well structured had good use of language and used, analyzed the poem well because I'm just good at that. But I think overarching, like the overarching nature and theme of my essay it was flawed. So I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, it doesn't matter now. I'm gonna stop thinking about it. I'm gonna stop thinking about paper two. Paper two, I'm gonna be on it. I know my poems, I got them memorized. I know the analysis, I know what they mean. I'm gonna smash this next one. I got to because because I got, it's gotta bring up my paper one because I feel like my paper one's gonna get like no points. This is my paper two. This is so this is what I'm gonna do for paper two. I'm gonna go through all these flashcards for the 
poems I'm gonna do. So So today is the day of the English paper 2 test. Today is the day where I redeem myself from that terrible paper 1. Uh, I know my poems. I know my shit. I got Sylvia Plath, um, tulips, like tulips, Lady Elizabeth cut, and then Wilfred Owen. Hopefully, hopefully they're all on my back. Got lots of poems to talk about. I have a lot of opinions, like a lot of opinions about the meanings of these poems. First thing I'm doing this morning is just some light yoga. Okay, so I'm done my yoga. Uh, it was so nice, but uh, it was so nice. Now it's time to have a shower and then get ready to go because, yep, English paper two. Here I go. I'm so confident. I'm like, oh. Okay, so we just finished paper one. Oh Dude. my god. We just Dude. finished paper two for English. Oh my god, it the went so well. Sad. Claire, how do you, what do you think? How was I, it? I don't know, I think paper two, I did so much better than paper one. Dude, same. What, what poems did you do? I did um, Platt's Tulips, Mad Girl's Love Song, and I did Owen's um, Anthem. Oh, that's, I didn't do any of those. <laughs> okay, we just finished English paper two. Oh Ooh. my god, it was amazing. I love the question. Like, I'm so happy with the questions. I was like, if I don't get a general question, I'm fucked. Yeah, no, because usually, right, in the past paper exams, the, all of the questions are so fucking weird. Mm -hmm. like, and specific, like, discuss the use of memory. Oh, dude, this there was one, like, discuss the use of ambiguous. Yeah, that was, and I was like, I'm really panicking about that last night. Because I was like, that's not Owen, that's not Blake. Oh, no. something about love. Oh, yeah, yeah memory. I, like, memory. And they're like, oh, I'm selling you and love on two points. I'm like, Ooh. it's only Plath. It's only Plath that has it's it. It's not even, it's not oh, good. Uh, yeah. Hey, Owen has an unsettling view of love of war. <laughs> so this, with these questions, every single one of them was generic. It was so weird. Mm -hmm. Usually you get one generic and then two specific. They were all generic. Like, and last use of, last one. it was the use of words in poetry. Yeah, literally like, like your word choice me? and words playment. Like, that's, that's like, simile, metaphor, all every structure, title, and ending. The first one was five? Yeah. yeah. I did four. I did, I did five. Five. Okay, so what I did is I did the question that was like, um, show how poets gain momentum until um, to reach the final point in which they convey their meaning. And Dolce is amazing for that. Mm -hmm. because it's like, it just all comes down to the old lie. Yeah. Dolce est the girl. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then I also use po yeah. Poison Tree because yeah. at the end, he dies. that's where he dies. Yeah. I did for this question five, I did Dolce and I did Bad Girl's Love Song. Oh, I love Bad Girl! I love <laughs> went through it like literally every like oh, I, there was, was only two choice? yeah for words of choice and words placement because it said like two poets i was like okay if it's not at least two i would just write two and i went so much detail and i was like send the one send the two send the three and i was just like i love it so much like i love it just use some words though right no you know word as word because these are words and places of words yeah so, so basically you just everything. everything yeah and yeah, that's basically analyze the poem yeah, yeah. that's the Okay, I did, oh my god, my old ones were great because I was like taking my time. I did uh, mental cases, Anthem, and Mad Girls. I love that. And okay. it's perfect, you know, for structure. Dude, I want, I want Mad Girls on Sully like the last 10 minutes. I was like, oh shit, I have really? to do a plan. Because I was like, I was all with my mental cases and I went overboard because I was like, yeah. I, I remember that everything. Was and I was like, yeah. Did you guys compare contrast? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I love that. Especially that. conclusion. I love Dolce and both like Maggio's love song had a sort of like similar where like um, he under like his exposure to war made him realize the hypocrisy and her exposure to this broken love made her realize like I should have loved a Thunderbird instead. So that's how I was like, oh they both like realized something. Oh, oh no dude, I mostly did like a, okay in title they were they both used title, but like Owen was more blatant oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and however Plat was more discreet, you know. Yeah. I just dude, I literally it. just vomited my IOC onto the paper for Dolce. Um, no, yeah, that was my, like literally like what I said in my notes. My mm -hmm. exactly what I said in my mm -hmm. favorite paper <laughs> two, which is I feel like don't tell oh. don't tell I be that. My Matt girls love song. It was like oh, it's like a villain now. I know so obsession. Yeah, it was so and, much better than my mom's. Yeah, and even on same. This is probably by far like I, I think this is better so than well. my mom's, but it was my mom's wasn't that bad, you know. So like, like it was like a you know. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so I'm home now. I just had some food. I had a melon. It was amazing. And right now I'm going to do some yoga because I just love yoga and I just need to calm down. Oh, the exam went great. I'm so happy with how it went. But right now I see the, you know, like I just see the. <laughs> yoga it was very nice okay i'm gonna shower and then i'm gonna go to lipo because i have an indo lesson because indo is next up and i'm gonna start listening and watching and reading lots of indo stuff to like get my to get me into that kind of thinking say how is that bahasa indonesia and be good how are you <laughs> i'm so bad i'm so bad at indo but oh well yeah radio okay so basically this is this is ba I'm basically at the end of week one of IB exams, which is very exciting because that means I only have two weeks left. I'm gonna have some nice uh, mushroom soup to celebrate the fact that I am one week finished with IB exams. And I've got some lemongrass lemonade here. Very vegan, very boring for most people, but delicious for me. So. My dumbass oh. sister is here. Oh no! What the fuck, Em? She can't even open a normal plastic bag. That's how useless she is. Come on, Emma. Let's go. Oh, no. Emma. Well, I guess I'll just have to eat these now. 